AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Here are today's top headlines. Europe shows buyers remorse over Opel. Brazil accuses China of dumping tires below market costs. And Toyota unveils its plug-in Prius. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Friday, the 11th of September, 2009, a day that will live in infamy. Yesterday, Europe was elated to know that Magna will become a majority owner in Opel. Today, it's showing some buyer's remorse. The AFP reports that now the realization is sinking in that Opel has been losing money for years, that it may require more government aid, and that the European Union is warning that any aid cannot be contingent on preserving jobs in the countries that provide that aid. In other words, we're going to be reporting more about Opel for some time to come. The Obama administration is debating whether or not to slap import tariffs on Chinese-made tires by September 17th. The U.S. International Trade Commission has recommended a 55% tariff on low-grade Chinese tires, which it says are being dumped below market prices. But Brazil beat the U.S. to the punch. Gascu reports that Brazil has slapped what it calls prohibitive import tariffs on Chinese tires for small cars. Brazil also slapped tariffs on shoes imported from China. German engineers have developed a fastener like Velcro, but it's made out of steel and they believe it can be used in cars. According to Autoblog, it's called Metaclet and it consists of tiny steel hooks and loops that fasten together like Velcro. It can support loads over 77,000 pounds or 35 tons and can withstand heat over 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit or 800 degrees Celsius. Inventors say it may be useful with exhaust manifolds since it can easily withstand the heat. General Motors will allow customers to return a vehicle up to 60 days after a purchase and get a refund if they're not satisfied with it. But owners cannot run up more than 4,000 miles on them. GM's brands will also use hard-hitting comparison ads against competitors to show where the GM vehicles are superior. And as we reported yesterday, the campaign will kick off with GM chairman Ed Whitaker appearing in TV ads, who will tell viewers he's an outsider who came to realize GM has terrific products that people ought to check out. Toyota is set to unveil a plug-in electric concept at the Frankfurt Motor Show. The Prius PHV sports a lithium-ion battery pack that should provide a 12-mile electric-only range and speeds up to about 60 miles an hour in EV mode. When the battery is out of juice, the car runs on an internal combustion engine just like a regular Prius. Beginning late this year, Toyota will start delivering 500 Prius PHVs to select customers around the world. In Ontario, Canada, Michael Bryant, the former attorney general, made a name for himself for his hardline stance against street racing. But Autoblog reports that when a bicyclist grabbed onto the door of Bryant's Saab to have the car pull him along, Bryant began erratically driving to shake the bike rider. He caused the rider to hit a mailbox, who later died from his injuries. Bryant was arrested for his alleged involvement in the shocking hit-and-run accident. And, you know, no matter which country you're in, beware of self-righteous politicians. Coming up next, we'll take a look at last night's episode of The Renzo Hour. We'll be back right after this. Changing tires out here could be dangerous. But with these tires, I don't need to worry. Bridgestone. Peter DeLorenzo filled in for me yesterday, both on AutoLine Daily and After Hours. In the following clip from After Hours, Renzo and the gang talk about whether the new ads from GM, the ones that feature the company's chairman of the board, Ed Whitaker, will be effective. The, the Whitaker thing, I think, is sort of a ball and a strike, and I don't think it's going to last long enough to either help him or do any damage. I, I, I sort of, it's not irrelevant because it shows a lot about Whitaker being willing to get in front of the camera. We like Big uh, Ed. 
you know, he, you know the got guy's his, got some moxie. You know, it's, it's, it's all fine. But in terms of pushing their brands and everything, you know, it's... And his theme it's, music. We've coined his theme music, you know. I got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> so every time you watch a spot, As just go, think of this music. And all of a sudden, it's, boy, I like that spot. Well, I'll Bob, tell you, though, San Antonio's a great town. Oh, Bob Lutz describing him today. I, I don't know if I was... I was just like, wow. I mean, these Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was like... I'm just... You know, what is it, your salary <laughs> drive, Bob, or what, what the hell's going on there? You know, Feinberg gets to limit that, so I don't know what he's going for. I actually think, you know, GM's got their backs to the wall. They've got some excellent products. They had to do something. They, uh, it's a Hail Mary pass. This 60-day car return thing, that, that's really not the thing. That'll be here and gone and, and, and instantly. And he it, said they'll probably extend it, though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. You know, but, but it's but these comparison spots. If the they can get the people off the couch and say, hey, you know, I might go look at that because you know what? It gets better mileage. It's cheap. You know, whatever it is that gets them off the couch. So GM had to do it. I applaud them giving it a, a My concern is that try. the Whitaker spots basically keep the, the sort of spotlight focused on something other than the brands and product. Remember, you can watch all of last night's show on our website, AutolineDaily.com, or you can download it as an audio podcast right from our website. Well, it's Friday, which means it's time to announce the winner of this week's trivia contest. We challenged you to tell us the name of the first plant where the Model T was built. And the correct answer is the Paquette Avenue plant in Detroit, just known as the Paquette plant. And this week's winner is Bob Jasinski of Rochester, Michigan. Congratulations, Bob. You just won a Bridgestone ice scraper, a tire gauge, and a hand crank LED flashlight. And that'll do it for this week's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.